Hello guys, it's Ryan Ho, back with another video. Today I want to talk about all the Fossex headphones and what I think about them. So I was able to try both their cheaper kind of RP series, which there's like six of them, and then there's their more expensive one, which are the 900 and the 610 series. And so we'll do some comparison between which one I would pick among them. Now, I would say the TH900 and 610 are known for the really good bass. And then the RP series is kind of more known for their kind of modability. So a lot of, you know, big companies nowadays, such as Dan Clark Audio, kind of got popular modding Fostex headphones. The other one are ZMF headphones, also started by kind of modding the Fostex headphones as well. And then now there's the Mod House Argon that's really popular that mods the, the RP series. And then they're now kind of making their new headphone, the Tungsten. I actually didn't get to hear that one, but I grabbed a picture, but I just didn't have time to listen to it. Let's start off with the RP series. So they all use the same driver. They just have a different tuning by the different housing or different pads that they have that kind of affect the tuning. So for me, the kind of T20 was the open version. And honestly, a lot of them just kind of had a different type of tuning to me. There was clearly one winner that was much better tuned than all of them. The T20 series is the open version. The T40 is the close. The T50 is the semi-open. Then they have the 50th anniversary edition of the T50. So that one's kind of upgraded with like kind of this headband and different color and nicer pads on it. So that's the newer product. I think it's about $200. And then they have the T60, which is like the wooden version of the headphones. And that one's also really cool looking, but it's also the most expensive one, right? So for me, the best one happens not to be the most expensive one. In fact, the most popular one is the T50 RP, like they're all Mark threes, right? But that one's the one that most people are buying and mod. However, I found that the best sounding one stock, when you just listen to it, was the T40 RP. That one was the most normal sounding of all of them by a long shot, to be honest. That one had you know a nice bass, maybe it could use a little bit more sub bass. The mid-range, at least the lower mid-range, was very present for male vocals. Upper mid-range was also very present and good and clear sounding. And through the treble, it was pretty good, pretty neutral. I did note that there was a slight treble glare, but honestly, it was the best of the bunch. All the other ones, like I could go down the line, but honestly, the rest either had a lot of treble that was kind of peaky or the like mid range was kind of stepped back a little bit. So it sounded not as present as I would like. And honestly, the T40 definitely stood out amongst the rest and it was easily the best one. So for me, if I was gonna buy one, I would get that one. I believe that one's about $170. So it's cheaper than the anniversary edition that's 200 and the $300 kind of T60. So you're getting the best value there. And then apparently you can mod like the T40 into like the other ones as well. So you guys can, you know, look up guides for that if you guys are interested. Now, the more expensive ones, are actually tuned relatively similarly. So the TH900, 909, and the 610, they all kind of have this like mid bass boost. Maybe the sub bass is a little bit lower than that. The mid range is pretty well presented in the lower mid range. However, when you kind of move up to the upper mid range, a lot of the female vocals don't come across as like present. They're kind of step back a little bit. They're kind of relaxed, in my opinion, for all of them. And then when you get up to like the treble, it seems pretty. There is pretty neutral, I think. You can definitely hear it. So overall, the sound sounds a little bit V-shaped, I would say. I did the mistake of listening to the more expensive ones first before I listened to the cheaper 610. So the TH900 is honestly one of the best looking headphones. It looks amazing. I think it's $1,800. And the cheaper one, which is the TH610, which is also a closed back headphone, is only $700. The difference between them was pretty drastic. It was like the TH900, you know, you get that nice bass, you get that mid-range, that lower mid-range, that step back kind of female vocal characteristic. When you move to the 610, it was the same thing, but everything was just dialed back. Like the amount of bass impact and feeling and the amount of bass you've got was just a lot lower. The resolution, the driver was lower and everything just felt really a step back 
to the 900 to the point where the 900 literally was clearly better than the 610 like there was no world in which it was close in my opinion like i would tell you guys if it was really close and it was a good value to buy a 610 but honestly in this case it's not the th900 shows why it's more expensive and why it kind of you know is the better bigger brother honestly the t909 honestly that one didn't sound very different from th900 like they're clearly probably using like the same driver however i think i overall preferred the tuning of the th900 i felt like the bass sounded a little bit more natural there's a little bit more emphasis on there and the overall tuning of the 900 was just a little bit more refined than the 909 in my opinion but honestly they didn't sound that different but if anything to go by making your decision easier just like look at the cup okay the 900 cup looks fantastic because it's closed get that full like wooden polish type of look it looks really really good versus the 909 it's like a more open type of sound but you're you know you don't get that nice cup design you know what i'm saying but really if i had to choose my favorite fostex it's definitely the th900 and if i had to choose my favorite of the cheaper one it's definitely the t40 rp i hope this video was helpful for making your guys decisions if you guys are interested in any of these products obviously i'll have links down below and i will be talking about other headphones i think I definitely want to talk about the Odyssey ones. I did in comparison of the LCD5, the MM500 to this headphone, which is the MM100, because I was really curious how close it sounded to this headphone. And honestly, the MM series is kind of one of my favorite series. So that's why I did a comparison for myself, but I might as well share it with you guys that what my thoughts were. Anyways, till next time.